Hi, I'm Litvarski and I want to show you how to connect your Commodore 128 to a modern display with VGA input. What I will do is I will show you how to use this this uh, C128 video DAC which connects directly to the back part of the C128 with this this connector here and this itself is not enough because I need a GBS8 8220 video converter also I connect these two and then I will get an VGA output here and then I cheat a little bit because I don't have a my display does not have a VGA in but but rather it has display port but I will I will just use this this uh, VGA to display port converter and I, I don't think that will affect much so the video quality so let's get going all right, so we must we must connect this video DAC to this video converter, and how does it happen is is quite simple. We have when buying a GBS GBS eight twenty uh, video converter, we get this this kind of an this kind of an cable and also we get this power cable and these these simply go on the video converter this power connector goes to here and then the this ah, this is it a VGA cable? I'm not sure, but it connects right here. Which way is it? It's this way. Like that. Then what we have, we have these small, small thing is here. So what we do is we take first we take the red power cable and we check that there's this uh, here this this says you probably well yeah here you can see it it's it's a CN2 so this this end goes to the we start with this end and how do we connect this? We take, we push this button here, and then this is pretty hard for me to show <laughs> in the same time. But this cable goes into the hole below the button. That didn't work out. like that now it's connected and then then we take the black power connector and put it to the next one this is this is pretty tedious I have to say But anyway, we have the power connected, and now we take yeah, yes, yeah, so it's a ground ground cable, this black one. Then the signal cable, and other. 
black cable from the signal cable. Then the yellow, gray, red, green. Oh, that, that one disconnected. So the technique, technique seems to be easiest to hold this video DAC in this, this way and then with one finger you push this white little button and then insert the cable. That seems to be the easiest way to put this in. So. Did something disconnect? No. So this is what it looks like. No. So before connecting the video DAC to my 128, I still need to show you two things I bought. This I bought from the same place, same shop from where I got this video DAC from. Ch the I bought this GBS eighty two twenty from uh, from Amazon, Amazon, and the cables cables came with that. But then I bought this this power adapter or, or power supply unit from the same place as this video DAC. So I got I got this kind of connector and then. I bought this, this also from the same place. I use this EU plug. And this connects to the GBS right here. Like this. And then I have this, which I, which this I also bought from the same place. Just open this up first. So this is an extension cable, which is which may be useful. It is for the connecting the video DAC to the Commodore 128. So so it's well you can see it from there. But anyway, it's it's quite a long cable. So I connect these two things here. Uh, yeah, well, it's connected, but actually, there are also also these nuggets, which which I can put put here. That means that now that <laughs> these are also bought from the shop, same place. Everything comes from the same place except the GBS and the cables. But anyway, this these nuggets help me to connect this extension cable to this video DAC. that now now that these nuggets are connected I can oh, put this one in and then screw it like this so now they, these don't disconnect too easily and and I have a quite a long long cable I can connect this to the 128 so this is one possibility but you can you can also you don't necessarily need the 
extension cable. I'm going to check out whether whether I want to use it or not. First, I'm going to go without the extension cable. So now I think we are ready to connect the video DAC, except that this this no these cables don't stay very well on it seems so there are three cables disconnecting i'll just put those in and then then we'll continue with our project so now the gbs and video dac are connected i use the extension cable to connect the video dac because the if it was connected directly to the 128 then the gbs had to be on this upper table i have and then the power power cable was too short so i took this extension cable to make the gbs go to this lower table i have but anyway i didn't get any picture on my screen and i believe that the problem is this this VGA to DisplayPort adapter because I have this different screen which is now connected with the VGA and this displays the the picture I wouldn't say it displays it perfectly because there are some you may notice some flickering here in the top left there's some flicker i'm not sure if it's the gbs settings that could could be here but made better or what's the problem here but anyway that's the way to make it connect to this vga display here you can see it's a vga so conclusions I couldn't get the flicker effect disappear, so I just launched Microsoft Multiplan and the screen is not not that good because the there is the red flicker which is all over the place. But if if I would have got my main display working, I used the which a DisplayPort adapter which doesn't work. If I would have got that working, then I would use this solution. But now, now I'm really cannot because I have to put that VGA display elsewhere. But otherwise, this is uh, it's an okay solution. There are some minuses, of course, because you have to use this GBS, GBS and that takes well then it takes a little tweaking and maybe i could get even the flicker make go away by tweaking tweaking the gbs but i'm not sure about that but anyway it takes a little bit of tweaking and then you need some table space for the gbs which is a which is a minus of this solution but and another thing is those small cables they disconnect very easily so if you want to move this move this uh, video dac and gbs to another place frequently i don't know why you would have to do that but anyway it's very easy to very easy to disconnect those cables especially in the when you are first putting these things together so that's also minus, but now that it's on in place, it shouldn't move anywhere, so it should be working and shouldn't disconnect. So it's a, maybe a half minus then. <laughs> but other than that, the picture quality is good except for the flicker. That's the only problem with the picture. 
So, yeah, I'm not gonna use this solution much because I have already ordered a different solution. Different solution I'm going to probably use. But if you have VGA display and for your C128, then then there's no problem with it. So that's it for me and thanks for watching.